These niggas be claiming they real. Most of these niggas are not. See, I'm from the land of the tree. You'll go first? Okay. Alright, here with Oscar De La Hoya at his uh, annual toy giveaway. Uh, tell us about this event, brother. Yeah, no, it's uh, 19? Yeah, 19. 19 years. 19 years uh, we give you know give toys away every Christmas. I think it's like 1,500 families, and um, it's just uh, it's just a way to give back. It's just a way to um, an appreciation, you know, a uh, thank you to, to the fans, a thank you to the families, you know. Um, it's just it's just a way of uh, making making the soul feel good, you know, making the heart, you know, just expand, you know. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really fortunate that I can do this. Definitely, the lines like around the block over here, and you can see in the kids' faces they light up when they get the presents. Yeah, they so. do, man. I mean, look, we give them the presents, and they look at it, and it's like, wow, you know. And so, in a way, it reminds me of like when I grew up. Like I, I was telling the story. Um, one year, I opened up literally a little bag of marbles, you know, like five marbles, you know, and it's like that was my gift, and that's it. So it's like, but you appreciate it, you know. And so when somebody gives you something, it's like you know, the kids appreciate it, and so. The reason why we do this, and we pick the families from all over the neighborhood. Um, we we hand pick them. We have people, and sometimes even I go and, and go knocking on the doors, and, and and we give people the tickets so they can come and get their, their gifts. So, you know, it's like um, uh, I wish I can do this for tens of thousands of families. You know, and and it's it's just it, it just feels good it feels good it's a great event well thank you for putting this on thank you thank you, thank uh, you. golden boy had a great calendar year 2015 obviously capped off by uh, coto canelo uh, over 900,000 buys yeah um tell us what uh, the fans could expect uh, in 2016. big year big year yeah it's a uh, big year it's i mean every year is gonna keep getting bigger you know every year um, all our young champions are becoming <coughs> ten rounders, are becoming uh, main event fighters. Um, so every year is going to keep getting bigger. I mean, that's Golden Boy Promotions. Um, you know, that's that's what we do. We're a machine. We're a, we're we're a machine that keeps on producing producing the, the you know the not only the superstar that we have with Canelo, the guy, the the main attraction in boxing today, but. You know, champions of tomorrow. I mean, um, you know, like like Diego de la Hoya and uh, you know uh, Joseph Diaz and uh, King Kong, who's fighting on Saturday uh, against uh, Brian Jennings on HBO. Um, you know, so we uh, we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue uh, uh, for as long as we can. And but 2016 is gonna be it's gonna be fun. We just found out that Canelo won't be fighting Triple G, at least not next. Uh, can you tell us about if that fight will be happening in September and who these guys will be fighting? Uh, well, we or who actually, Canelo will be fighting in between? We actually have a meeting uh, tomorrow. Uh, there's a meeting, a very important meeting, um, and we're going to sit down and discuss it. You know, I mean, is Canelo and Triple G going to fight? Absolutely. I mean, that's there's no question about it. That I want the fight to happen, and um, and we all want the fight to happen, and uh, it's it's just a matter of uh, it, it's it's. It's going to be a very complicated negotiation, so we don't want to rush into anything. The fight's going to happen, yes, no doubt about it. Um, we just have to make sure that everything is, uh, all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted, and uh, you know, when it happens, it's, it's, it's going to be big. Will Canelo be taking over the Cinco de Mayo, September 15th, kind of those dates? No doubt about it. Cinco de Mayo and September is Canelo Alvarez for the next 10 years. Those are his dates, period. Um, there's no question. Uh, I'm already uh, I'm already discussing venues. Um, I'm already uh, talking a few opponents, uh, and there's several. But uh, most importantly, I want to lock in the venue. Uh, and we're talking about it. So, uh, you know, come, uh, come uh, January, you know, the holidays, it's a little difficult to uh, discuss business. But um, um, come January 1st, second then uh, we're gonna get on the horn and just uh, lock everything in what does uh, Oscar De La Hoya want for Christmas what would be that one thing that maybe that fight you make that that you would want like say for Christmas like when you were a kid you'd be excited about getting the fight that that that, that um, hmm, Christmas wow <laughs> I actually would want to see even even past fights if you could just put past fights together what would be like the Christmas you present know what best fight I wouldn't mind 
putting together and watching, because I think it would be a fun fight, is uh, down the road or now or whenever, Amir Khan versus Canelo. I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. I think Amir Khan is a fighter who, uh, who can move up to 154, a fighter who can fight at 47. See, Amir Khan's a fighter who is very versatile, very, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a, a fan's favorite fighter, you know? He's, he's always, I mean, think about his fights. He's always in exciting fights. He goes down, he gets back up, he, you know, he's exciting. So, I think an Amir Khan with Canelo would be very interesting. International too, that'd be big. Oh, huge. Well, hey, Oscar, thanks a lot for doing this uh, toy drive for the, the kids and I uh, appreciate all the... Thanks, man. Happy stuff. holidays, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, 2016. Big. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you.